got one. What can you tell me about this job? Oh, oh, oh. it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. You're uh, on your way. I think you're going to be about 15 miles east of Salina. I think, or west. I can't remember. Either way, just getting to Salina is going to take you three and a half hours or so. This is not a good trip for you. It's just all on the highway. I think you're going to see Matt use a winch for the first time. It's, and you probably have to use the forward to anchor it while you're winching it's in a it's in a precarious position that one wasn't that low a little over nine and a half gallons okay let's go get some delicious breakfast sausage egg and cheese biscuit so we got a call for a jeep cherokee i believe that is stuck in a ravine like a rutted out road up near salina utah and we're going to head up there and see if we can get him out. He sent me some pictures. He's in a pretty pretty bad spot. So it's going to be interesting to see what we figure out to get him out of there. We got Randy with us today. Good morning. We got Tim. We got Jason with us. Howdy. We got the Jeep in tow. We're rolling in blue steel. And I think it's going to be a good day. How far up this road is it? Where does the drive up there look at? Before we forget. There's your shirts. Sweet. <laughs> cool. Sink your truck in a shirt. Oh, How about that? <laughs> cool. Thank, Thank you. Cold. 
This is what we're driving over. Do you understand what's happening here? Yeah, this road's about to disappear. Yeah. It... Does it go all the way under? Yeah. There's holes all over. Yeah, you done good. So you see the bottom of it? Yeah. Deep, huh? Did you, did you notice it's connected to there? Yeah. It's connected over there and over there too. We're it's, in a pretty precarious spot right here. It's a sketchy spot. Oh, my nut's still there. Nice. It, well, you can see like these that. big chunks that fell down when I got here. It was like this. I gotta push these off. Not stable. So I wouldn't step any further. I had I called Jace. He lives in Salina. He's one of my buddies. And he says he's got a tractor if we need it. I'm gonna try it first. I don't think we have enough. I don't think we have enough equipment here. So here's the problem. The only reason this isn't rolled is because it's resting against the dirt right now. Yeah. There is nothing for that back wheel to go onto. Yeah. If we pull if we pulled back and up this direction, that thing could just yeah. flip over. And who knows how stable this is, how much more is going to break off. So you think? That tractor keeps crossing my mind. Yeah, you got to put it That's a good one. Like, I got a winch in the back that would hitch up, but... I'm thinking if we... Uh, Going back is our only option. Period. I don't like how that feels. <laughs> that spongy feeling about your cup of tea, yeah? We'll, we're just going to start nuts. pulling backwards real slow. So if you want to get your vehicle hooked up um, to mine, I'm going to get in position here. Get this set up. And uh, let's just... an acre for your Jeep? Yeah. We're going to want to get in there and... Exactly. <laughs> All right. This is our gauge rope. It's a 20-foot kinetic line. You still got like 15 feet <laughs> or more. <laughs> I can't go any further. No. Nope. Wow. <laughs> Deeper than 20 feet. Yep. Um, I think we're going to go to that axle Okay. because I want to see if we can get some upward motion from this laying on the oh, I gotcha. laying on the road. I'm going down. I might have to hand you the camera to get some of the angles down there. Though. You don't have to. You might be better right over my shoulder looking down here. You going to use this kinetic rope right now? We Did a good one. Oh yeah, I'm impressed. <laughs> he was so anticlimactic too. I was just driving along really slowly and it just. Okay, there's your rope. <laughs> we did need Ed. He could have told us how to do this. <laughs> he didn't want to ride in the truck for two and a half hours. <laughs> I don't know, man. Thanks we for coming to... up on his way though. Yeah. Figured you guys were the right ones to call. What's your normal radius? Like how far away from home do you go? Yeah, you're stretching it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so each of <laughs> you on this rope, <laughs> on a rope. You want us to like rappel down? Yeah, I'm put, you know, put something into it. Okay. 
we want to put two or three more people on ropes. We're gonna do it with what's that? We always use the minimum. <laughs> so fine grained and dusty. Get some dirt around and throw the traction boards under and see if that does. Where's your Hit chat buried. <laughs> Perfect. It's got that box thing on it. It's no, it not doesn't have to go. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't see any possible way unless we could get the forerunner over there. I don't think it's going to make Quite one nice. bit of difference which way the front wheels are turned right now. Okay, let's put another pull on it. Okay. Digging? I think we're making progress. What do you think is going to happen after this front tire clears the amount of dirt that's holding it up? Though? Hopefully this back wheel is on here by then. <laughs> so, okay, this is the same problem, the same thing's happening every time. We're just getting this ramp closer and closer to the level of that tire. cable here somewhere. There you go. I think I've got to go under this thing. The question is if I go under it, can I get... Anybody want some get it? Got one? Silent cameraman. Okay, I need the shovel. Okay. Hey, Randy, you want to handle this one or do you want to handle this one? This one's shorter. We've even got this tire compressed a little, you know, compressed a little bit. We've got the same issue on the front tire, right? Um, not really. It's in really soft dirt, so it's no. plowing okay. Well, what's your plan for when the front tire gets to this hole? Hopefully, we'll be able to put a rope on it. And, uh, it'll work out okay. There's a bit far in there. Well, that backhoe would have been a great idea just to haul in enough dirt to fix the hole. <laughs> yeah. I dug a little ramp there. So, hopefully we can get that to climb up. The problem is, this front wheel is going to drive right off here into this hole I'm standing in. So I want to get the back wheel stabilized. And then get some big group, uh, get some burly guys on the rope on the front to keep this from falling in. Where are we getting those burly guys from again? Here, pull that rope. <laughs> you want me to drag you out now? Hang on. <laughs> All right. Cool. Hey. Oh, careful. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's still hooked up. <laughs> yeah, I'm not hooked up. Right. Everybody pay attention. I thought the flying cable. You ready? All right, go. Okay, 
steady pull now. Don't no jerking. Okay, let's stop and look at this. Yeah, the front end's about to come over, coming over. Yeah, we can't let off tension. So we can't let off tension. Um, hold on, hold on. How many people does it take to keep this steady? What do you mean by steady? Like, <laughs> if I stood here, would that do it? Yeah. If you were standing there, would it make a difference? Yes, maybe. Um, man, out of the frying pan into the fire. Yeah. <laughs> well, and then this tire here and it'll get wider. Good thing I didn't air down any further. Okay, hold it for a second. I'm going to walk around and look. Well, we let go. Does it change anything? I mean, that front tire, you can let go. The bumper is against that dirt. When that bumper's not against the dirt, the heavy end of this Jeep is gonna be hanging in, yeah. hanging over the abyss, so to speak. Can we get your truck and double anchor? Well, I'm, I, you're not gonna drag me at all. We just need force th this way. Three wheels. Yeah, it's enough, but the, this is the heavy end of the Jeep. True, true. And that's why that's in here. It's so, probably going to slide in and crunch my left fender. Um, your fenders, well, that's why I'd really like to get this wheel turned. I wonder if it's more prone to turning now. I don't think it's going to, I don't think it's going to slide. It's, yeah, both those wheels are on things. Pushed up against the dirt. You can see it's got all the all the weeping and juices that Jeep should have. Yeah. Man, that is. <laughs> the other option. Problem is, the direction we need to pull, we cannot get. <laughs> What's on the other side of the ravine over there? Can we get there? I'd have to crash through all that brush and start a fire with my cat. You're good at that. You got a fire extinguisher. That Th this way, that would be a oh good. Oh my god! <laughs> What's the chance? Okay, right now we've got the protection of this bumper on the dirt, and we've got another, at least another foot of that protection. Until it starts crumbling away. Yeah, so let's go back another foot and see if you guys are strong enough to keep put that wheel on the ground. If you are, then we'll just flat out go for it. I think we should get all four of us on the rope. Then. What happens about pushing from this side? Uh, if it goes, I just fall in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe get Do you think up. you guys can get more pressure here? Oh, yeah. Maybe. Let's get... What? Yeah. It's okay. You're, you'll be out of the way. You'll just land on Let's top. get one on each rope, okay. and everybody else on this side pushing. <laughs> and on these ropes, I think, if, and I don't know what's more comfortable for you, but I think you could really wait into it. You might want to trade, trade this in for the 30-footer. Why? So they can get further off the edge. You, you can get plenty far off the edge. I don't know. That's where we want to be, right? Yep. Okay, Tim, do you want to go over there and push? We're going to go back one foot. If it's going well, we're going to go the whole way. If, the it's, whole not, way. if it's not going well, we'll stop before we're done with the foot. <laughs> Everybody ready? You tell Wait, me. This isn't going in the edit. <laughs> Okay, you're about to lose that front end. Here goes the front end. Just gonna send it. Push it. Push it. Oh boy, that feels good. I say keep going. Keep going. How come that front wheel axles aren't rolling? Yeah, 
They're crunching my fender. It's okay, they're cheap. Did it get the fender? Just keep going. Oh yeah. Keep going, keep going. And probably the hood. Just keep going. Keep going. I would have to say that we almost didn't do that. I think we put two of the three cameramen on that one. We don't usually do that. But I like to use the resources that I have before we call in expensive backup. Getting a backfill out here would have been a very expensive thing to do. Well, they've got a long trip back to Colorado to think about what they've done. No, I can see. At first, when I saw the pictures, I was thinking, well, they just drove into a little, you know, where the road was washed out. That, that whole road is Swiss cheese underneath. They drove across that and it busted off. It's kind of scary once you realize how deep those holes were. Well, and he was, he's, you know, you're weighing things now. A Cherokee door and fender versus the cost of getting a backhoe up here. Yes. There's there's where the decision had to be made. Uh, I'll make sure and thank take, you so much. Take care. appreciate thank you guys you. using us. Appreciate it. <laughs> And good luck. I guess you got a little bit, a little bit more work to do on this now. Dents <laughs> ah. it up, Fender. Never heard of Jeep. Yeah. I just paint over the dent. Yeah. I don't even know what to say about that. I think, I think that's the sketchiest recovery we've ever done. But we got there, got hooked up, kept solving little problems one at a time till the big problem was solved, and. Uh, they're back on their way.